Craig here and in this video I want to show you how I do my keyword research and also how I check my website ranking. Now I'm going to show you how to do this for free. Now there are premium tools out there that you can purchase or you can pay a monthly fee for but I want to show you an option of doing this for free and the reason for that is I know many new members at Wealthy Affiliate they're on a very small or tight budget and they can't afford to go and purchase some premium tool. But when you're starting out, you don't actually need these premium tools. The way I do my keyword research is not that slow. And once you get the hang of doing it, well, it's pretty fast, actually. And, you know, I can come up with a whole list of keyword phrases that I want to target. And then I have all my keyword phrases for the week or month. So, you know, I could spend, let's say, 30 minutes, get all my keyword phrases, and then I don't need to do any more keyword research. Think about it and make sure you spend your money wisely when it comes to purchasing premium tools. Now, before I get going, I want to point something out is with any keyword research tool, I never personally take the monthly search data for granted. I just use it as an indication that, yes, there is some kind of traffic for this keyword phrase. And, you know, because Google, they're only giving you an estimation and most keyword tools out there, they get their data from Google. So everything is pretty much just an estimation. So if you find a keyword phrase and it says this search phrase gets searched 500 times per month, well, you know, it might not get searched 500 times. So I generally go with my gut feeling. So what I've started to do recently is keep track of all my keyword research and I do that via Google Drive. Now, I'm always logged into one of my Gmail accounts and I have Google Drive activated on here. And what I do is I open up a spreadsheet. Now, this is just an example one for this video purpose. But I have a spreadsheet which contains a whole bunch of keyword phrases which I've either gone after or I just like the, I, you know, I've collected the data and I may go after it one day. I'm not 100% sure but I like to keep track of everything so that I can return to this spreadsheet and see this keyword phrase and you know how many searches Google is telling me per month and Bing, what is a QSR and what is a video QSR. Now I'm going to come back to this at, uh, during the video so don't worry about that. So the one keyword tool that I use all the time is Google's very own keyword tool. Now, the Gmail account that I'm signed into is also signed up for Google AdWords. Uh, I've not entered in my credit card details or anything like that. I simply click sign up for Google AdWords so that I could avoid that crazy capture. And it also avoids the problem of only returning 100 keyword ideas. Okay, so on match type, never use broad because that is crazy. Always make sure it's either phrase or exact. So we're going to select phrase and we're going to uncheck location. I personally like to search US, but because it, it knows that I'm located in Canada, it's always Canada. So I'm just going to uncheck Canada so that it searches all locations. I'm going to put a check next to only show ideas closely related to my search terms. So let's say I wanted to find a keyword phrase related to make a blog and I'm going to hit search. Now, Google's going to give me a whole bunch of different keyword ideas down here. And in fact, we have 142 different ideas that we could look into. Now, again, all of these keyword phrases contain the phrase make a blog. So we have make a blog for free, etc. Now, one thing I like to do is search, you know, from highest to lowest. So what I like to do is go over the keyword phrases that it's returned. And I know, for example, make a blog. Well, you know, this for me to rank on the first page of Google for make a blog, it's going to be very hard because it's going to be loads of competition. So I want to look for these long keyword phrases because it's going to be less competition and the QSR is going to be much less. So let's t look at this, for instance, how to write a blog and make money. So Perhaps I want to check out the QSR for this phrase. So what I'll do is I'll right click and copy it. Then I'll open up my incognito window and paste in my phrase. Now it's already got the quotes around it. So I'm going to hit search or enter key. 
and it's going to go off. And again, Google is telling us there's 1,450,000 results. But we know Google doesn't quite tell us the truth. So to find the QSR, we simply find the last page of the results. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. We're on page 18. And that's it. So the QSR is 173. So coming back to my spreadsheet, I could paste in my keyword phrase and the QSR was 172 and the the searches where was the searches now was 210 210 now if I wanted to I could come over to Bing now Bing has its own keyword tool and to access it you have to add your site to the webmasters tools and then under under diagnostics and tools you'll have keyword research now i'm just going to paste in that phrase and we're going to get rid of this now bing is another keyword tool which often returns a whole bunch of related keyword ideas now let's just hit search and see if bing gives us any data generally it always returns a zero and i don't know how much it works well no google uh, bing has given us a 27 so we could come back to our spreadsheet and enter in 27. Now, if just jumping back to Bing here, if I scroll down, I've got all these other keyword phrases that it's given us some details on. Now, I know I'm scrolling fast and you probably can't see, but we have a whole load of how to write a etc. And these are getting high numbers, and this is just from Bing. So that is another great way to find keyword ideas. Okay, the next thing I like to do, oh, let me just show you the video QSR. Now, the reason I keep track of video QSR is because I like to do videos. And I like to know, you know, keep track of, I like to keep track of how much competition there is for video. So if I click on the video tab, we're going to see that the QSR for video is one. So the video QSR is one. So basically, if I created a video and I went after how to write a blog and make money, odds are I can probably get my video thumbnail to appear in the search. Now, let me just go back to the web results. You'll see, whenever you use the phrase how to, that generally triggers a video thumbnail in the web results. Now, if I scroll down, You'll see we have a video right here. Now, another website I like to use is called Uber Suggest. And basically, this is a free website which scrapes Google suggestions. So let's say I wanted to search build a website. It's going to go off and find, you know, scrape Google and come up with different phrases which include this phrase, build a website. So I'm going to click on suggest and it's returned 317 suggestions so as I scroll down over these you'll see how it works it basically goes if you're a member of wealthy affiliate then you'll know uh, Kyle's alphabet soup method well this is the same thing so build build a website Bluehost build a website by yourself etc so what I like to do is I like to enter in these keyword phrases into Google and see if people are actually searching these phrases. So we're going to click on select all keywords. And over here on the right, we're going to click on get. I'm going to press control A to select all or right click and select all and press copy. Now coming back to Google, I'm going to press control V and paste them all in and click on search. Now, as you can see, we have 295 keyword phrases, so it's gone off and searched. Now, because I signed up for the free Google AdWords account, it's allowing me to search that number of keyword phrases. If you're just using the free keyword tool, I believe you're limited to 100 keyword phrases per search. So what I'll do is I'll generally search these from uh, the highest monthly searches. And then I'll just start going over these keyword phrases and seeing if something jumps out. Like, for example, we have one here. Can you build a website with WordPress? 
Now, the reason people may be searching this is because they may think that WordPress is a blog. Now, basically, WordPress is a blog platform, but you can build websites and you wouldn't even know it was a WordPress platform. So what I'll do is, again, I will select my cute phrase, right click and copy, come over to my incognito window, control V, paste it in, and my QSR is four. Now, again, how many people are searching this? According to Google, 22. So let's go over to here. We'll paste that in. Google said 22. QSR was four. I guess video is going to be zero. Video results is zero. Uh, let's just quickly check Bing. Uh, Bing returns as zero. And you know what? Let's go check a Jaxi keyword tool. Now, I don't have a premium account here. This is just a free account. Let's paste these in. Hit search and see what Jaxi tells us. Uh, Jaxi's telling us there's eight monthly searches. And with Jaxi, again, you can get the QSR by just clicking a button. And again, it tells us four. So before I wrap this video up, I want to show you how you can check your website ranking for free. Now, I'm using Chrome, and the only way to do it in Chrome really is to use the incognito window. Because if you're signed into a Google account like Gmail, Google is going to give you some false ranking data because it's going to show you web results based on your search history, etc. So to open up a new incognito window, we click on that icon and new incognito, new incognito window. And we're going to enter in our search rate. Now, I know I'm ranked number one for wealthy affiliate hosting because I was I noticed somebody landed on my website the other day from searching that. So let's say I wanted to check where I was ranked for the term wealthy affiliate hosting. I enter it into my search. It goes off and it returns this. Now, I can see that my domain name is right there. But if I wanted to check, I could simply go over all of the results here. Or if I wanted to, I could press Control F and it brings up this search box. And I could just start to enter in my domain name and it would tell me, yeah, look, we found it here. Or we could simply go on to page number two and it's found it again there etc and you can keep going through page and page now there is another option too where you can change the search settings and you have to turn google instant off and you can also change it so that it shows more you know you can go up to a hundred you can have it display a hundred results per page but the only thing is this does some strange things sometimes and i haven't quite figured it out but you know, basically, you're going to see 100 results on one page. But let me jump back to page one and show you something. Now, as you can see, it's got me ranked here, 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 here. So something isn't quite right when you do it that way. Anyway, let me show you this last method before I wrap this video up. And the website is called whatpageofsearchamion.com. And it's a free... A website basically you enter in your keyword phrase wealthy affiliate hosting and you enter in your URL entered in the wiseaffiliate.com we have some additional details here do we want to search google.com etc and we're going to click on search and basically it goes off and it scans the first 10 pages and it's found my website right there and obviously you can click on it and go to the web page result if you want now, let's just put in wealthy affiliate scam because I don't think I rank for that at all. And I just want to show you how it works. So you'll see it's checking page two, three, four, five, etc. And no, nope, it doesn't find it. <laughs> anyway, so this web page is called what page of search am I on dot com. And uh, basically it will allow you to check your website ranking on Google. 
So hopefully this video helped. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to post a comment below and uh, have a great day.